I'm from Waconia, born and raised. Waconia. We're from Tennessee. Hi, I'm from Oklahoma City. I'm from Spain. Spain? Yeah. Um, Mankato. Right. I'm from Rapid City, South Carolina. Welcome to Art Wander Weekend. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome to Art Wander Weekend. See those signs all over? Studio Art Crawl. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my setup before it starts. Starts in about an hour. Switching the microphone around so that you can hear me. So this is where I'll have my wheel set up outside. This is where I'll be throwing all weekend long. So Studio Art Tour, Art Wander. There it is. All right, so let's check it out. So you walk in, and I got all my pieces set up. There's a TV screen playing the YouTube video about the glass coasters. Got mugs. Tons of stuff for sale. Big bowls. Got the succulent station right here. Then we got the mugs that I made while I was surfing. And then these are mugs without a set, but still need a home. And then this whole shelf set up. Yep, yep, all mine. Well, we're two hours in and we sold a ton of pottery already. Way more than in years past. <laughs> <laughs> Art Wander is going well. Sold many, many pieces. I'm happy I have another kiln. It'll be done tomorrow, which will be kiln number. Oh, what number is it? 27? Kiln number 27. First things I sold were American flag mugs. Sold a big one of these vases, like for like 80 bucks. Sold a bunch. I have this glass coaster video which I think has created a lot of interest in the glass stuff, which is cool. It's going well. Till next time. Someone asked if they could buy these mugs that I made while I was surfing. And I don't really want to sell them yet because I like this little display and the video and stuff. So, but I said, you know, for a hundred bucks a piece, I'd probably sell them. She was like, okay. She didn't buy them. But I think if someone gave me a hundred bucks, I would sell these one of a kind, made while surfing. It's going great. Yeah? Yeah, we've sold a ton. Yeah, I haven't thrown any pots yet, but it's been awesome. No, I was just gonna like start cleaning up out here. It's too cold out here to throw pots. How are you? Good. All right, first day of the Art Wander. Going very, very well so far. Probably the best I've ever done on a Friday for sure. It's normally I'd be out here throwing pots, but it's like not that, it's kind of cold. The sun just came out, so that's good, but it's kind of cold out here, so I didn't think anyone would really care to watch me throw pots. Six, probably six, seven hundred dollars worth of pots. Lots of mugs, lots of Minnesota mugs. The unique Minnesota mugs were great, like the Pine Tree, the MNs, the I Heart M. What else sold? Glass coasters, that video of having the glass coasters playing, like how it was made, super worked really well. Ah, oh, the sun is setting. We sold a couple big vases. Super busy, good. The display was good. What else? Looking forward to getting on the wheel tomorrow and throwing a bunch of pot. So that's gonna be super fun. What else do we sell? We sold this one big vase that had this like mountain carving that I loved. Oh, I loved it so much. So I think the videos, having those play are really cool. Recap, day one at the Art Wander. Very successful. Oh, what's up guys? It is eight o'clock this morning and we're headed in for Art Wander day two. And it's supposed to be a gorgeous day. So I didn't throw any pots yesterday. Normally the Art Wander I throw a bunch of pots outside and I have my wheel set up and people can kind of be there and watch me throw and little kids like to come play in the clay and stuff. And I didn't do that yesterday because it was like 50 degrees and like kind of sprinkling. So today I'm looking forward to throwing all day long. I usually get so much done 
like throw a bunch of pots. It's super fun. But yeah, show went super well yesterday. Definitely the best Friday. The best Friday of the Art Wander that I've ever had. Ooh, check out that sun right there. Early sunlight. First thing on the docket, we gotta go get a couple light bulbs from the hardware store. Then we gotta go unload kill number 27. 27? I think? Yeah, 27. And then we gotta price all the stuff that comes out of the kiln, bring it upstairs, put it on the shelves. So we got a whole other kiln of stuff, which is kind of fun. And then we get to start throwing outside, hanging out with people, talking about pottery. Sounds like a good weekend to me, right? Talk about how to sell pottery. Biggest sellers, definitely mugs. I know, I mean, I have a ton of mugs, but that's really what people like to buy. And people I know have a lot of mugs, but for some reason there's just a, like an allure for mugs. So yeah, we sold a bunch of mugs. I had these two American flag mugs that were red, white, and blue with the American flags, and I sold them for like 36 bucks a piece. And they sold before the show even started. Two people came in and bought them. So really the unique ones that looked different than all my other stuff were the ones that sold right away. So maybe I gotta make more unique, different ones, like pine trees, like Minnesota's, where the Minnesota was all over, like the MN. So, yeah, it was cool to see that all the different stuff that I kind of tried, like my normal stuff that I have a lot of, didn't sell as well. Maybe that's because people already own a lot of that stuff. Yesterday, that video went live with all the, with where I just kind of announced that I was doing stuff on Patreon, and so we got a bunch of new patrons, and I'm so excited! Thank you guys so much for supporting that patron, that Patreon, that really helps me to think about what is possible with clay and with business, so appreciate it. Man, it became fall like overnight. It's kind of chilly. Got light bulbs. Walking into Mocha Monkey. Get ready for some sweet Art Wander Day 2 footage. with clay before? Not like this. No. Not really. Art Wander. Day two. And I got been throwing pots all morning. I'm gonna show you my setup. So I got my wheel. Got pots that I've thrown. Some pots over here with some leaves in it. Cool and breezy. Four o'clock, we got two hours left in today's Art Wander. And it's been awesome. I spent the first like many hours throwing, then I spent some hours trimming. It was a good day. Had a lot of people out here watching. It's been awesome. So we're gonna go inside and finish out the day running the register. Another very good day, sold lots of pots, threw lots of pots, threw about 100 pounds of clay. So that was fun, had a ton of people watching. It's awesome, it's a good day. Check back in with you tomorrow. What's up? I keep checking the YouTube channel because we're so close to 5,000. 5,000 subscribers, we're so close. 4,995, so 4,995 subscribers. Five more and we're at 5,000. That's what happens when you put your foot in a bowl. When your camera is sitting on a wheel and it's spinning. <sighs> Day three of the Art Wander, and it's been a great, great weekend. Thanks to everybody that came out 
I've heard a lot of people say watch your videos and so that's been really fun to just meet people that watch the videos so thanks to you if you came out comment below and tell me if you came to the Art Wanderer this weekend and the Patreon kind of got going this weekend and we're gonna hit 5,000 subscribers really soon just some exciting stuff for John the Potter and all the John the Potter followers so appreciate you I hope I can come up with some sort of video with all the footage that I have taken so far power lines ugly wood not so bad all right what did we learn from this Art Wanderer weekend Minnesota mug sell I didn't learn that I already knew that but sold a ton of Minnesota mugs have a good day <laughs> other things we learned pots dry super fast when they're in the Sun coffee and Bailey's go great together the weather has been perfect last year it was like super super hot and so I didn't do quite as well and if it rains then it's dead but when the weather is good art sells so if you can figure out a way to control I just looked again this is like literally been like Two minutes and we're at 4998 oh you can't see it 4998 two more to go 4998 we just sold one of those carved lumineers what did we just sell oh my gosh <laughs> one of our carved lumineers check out the video in the link up here John the Potter here. I'm pretty sure that when I go to YouTube, I'm gonna have over 5,000 subscribers. Woo! Over 5,000! Woohoo! So excited! Thank you guys all so much for subscribing. Just hit 5,000 and get that mic back over here. Just hit 5,000. Pumped. So excited. You guys are the best. All right, friends. I'll be right back. I'll see you in a few. Oh, what a weekend. We just finished the Art Wander. Oh, it's beautiful outside. Now we're leaving Old Monkey. Going to get the car and pick up some stuff. Well, we sold a ton of pottery, sold tons of mugs, had lots of great interactions. I think I even sold those two mugs that I made while I was surfing for a decent amount, which was super fun. So hey, I really appreciate you guys coming along with me, this art wander. Appreciate all the new patrons. I haven't even had a second to like sit down and look at all the people that were uh, supporting me on Patreon. I'm excited to do shout outs and giveaways. And hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like this video, comment below. Tell me what your keys to a good art show are. When you do art shows, what do you make? What do you sell it for? How do you do with your setup? See you in the next video. Peace.